This is the facet CA113. In another video I've shown you the C113, which is a manual calculator. This is a very similar looking fully automatic electric calculator. It uses uh, a plug in the back, which is uh, yeah, a bit strange. It has these diagonal uh, pins. It's fairly easy to use. Um, you just enter a number using the number buttons. To add this number to the main register, you press Add. That also increments the counter and clears the input for the next uh, addition. And so on. To clear the main register, which is register number 1, you can press the 1 button. To clear the counter, which is register number 2, you press the 2 button. And to clear the input, you press the 3 button. You can also do repeated addition, which is this button here. If I hold this button down, it will repeatedly add the number. Uh, it won't clear the input, and when you release the button, it will also shift the input to the left. And you can also see these red pointers shifting to the left. It's now on the tens digit in the counter. So I can do another addition, and it will enter the tens digit of the multiplier, because really I'm doing a semi-automatic multiplication now. I've now entered a 4 in the tens digit here, so I've multiplied this input by 46, and the result is here. And now I've multiplied by 346, and so on. If necessary, I can also shift the input to the left or to the right manually if I want to uh, uh, adjust one of these digits, I can increment it there. Uh, so this is how you can do a, a semi-automatic uh, multiplication. In practice, you'll never really need to do this because this machine also has fully automatic multiplication with these keys here. I'll show that in a moment. You can also do subtraction. Uh, if I enter another number and I want to subtract it, I can use this button. This button is uh, used for both subtraction and division. And it, for subtraction it really combines both this single, uh, yeah, the subtraction version of both this and this button. So it can do a single subtraction and also a rep repeated subtraction. For a single subtraction, I need to hold down this sub button and then press the subtract button. That does a single subtraction and clears the input. For a repeated subtraction, I just hold this button down and it also will shift the, the carriage to the left uh, when you've done. So that in that way it combines these two buttons in one, uh, but then in a subtraction form. But again, you'll never really use it in this way. Uh, this lever over here, uh, this controls how the uh, carriage moves when you, uh, yeah, when you release these buttons. So now it moves to the left each time, and if I put it in the middle, then it'll either not move or move to the right, depending on whether you move this small lever at the back to the left or to the right. So if I move this to the left, the carriage won't move, If I move this small lever to the right, 
then the carriage will move to the right after I've released this button. You can also move this all the way to the right to division mode and uh, yeah in that case also the carriage will move to the right but that also does other things. I'll show you how to do division in a moment. I'll clear the registers. You can do that one at a time, but you can also put, push all these buttons at the same time. And uh, yeah, now I'll show you to do how to do fully automatic multiplication. If I enter a number, it not only shows here, it's also stored in a hidden uh, internal register. If I press the multiply button, that clears the input here, but still keeps that number inside that hidden register. If I now enter another number and press the equals button, it will do a multiplication of that hidden register with this number. And the result is here. That hidden number is now visible here because that's how many times it added that number added this input to the main register. Let me do that again, but this time use a number with high digits. So I'll use 9876 and multiply that by this number, 1 to 3. Press equals to start the multiplication. You'll notice that it didn't do uh, six revolutions to add six times. It used shortcut multiplication. So it uh, actually subtracted four and then added 10 in the next digit and so on. It uh, does shortcut multiplication for all the digits that are uh, six or higher. If I want to do another multiplication with that hidden number, that's no problem. I can clear the main register and the counter, but as long as I don't clear the input with this button, but if I clear the input instead with the multiply button, that keeps the hidden register intact. So I can now enter another number and do the multiplication by pressing the equals button. So with this uh, automatic multiplication you'll never really need to use this uh, repeated addition or even these uh, uh, carriage shift buttons. I'll do a division now. In the, this case you need to move this, this lever into division mode. I'll enter 355. I'll press this tabulation button that shifts the input all the way to the left and add this into the register. You'll note that this addition didn't change the counter because we're in division mode. It knows that doing a single addition like this is yeah, not what we want. I'm just setting up the division, not actually do it, calculating the division just yet. I want to divide this by 113. Also shift that all the way to the left. And now I'll press this to start the automatic division. Note also that when I put this into division mode, this red dot uh, shows. Uh, and that means that this counter is going to count subtractions rather than additions. Because that's what we're doing. We're doing a long division by repeatedly subtracting this. And yeah, you want to count how many times you subtract to uh, get the result of the uh, division. And the result of this division is 3.1415929. A good approximation to pi. Let me do that again and show you how to uh, abort the uh, division prematurely. 
Sometimes the keyboard locks up. There we go. I need to lubricate it a bit more. If I press the division button while it's working, it will uh, abort the uh, division prematurely. It will stop after it's completed the calculation of a digit. And I can then press this if I decide I want to have more digits anyway. And then it will finish the calculation. If you do, uh, for, if you accidentally do a division by zero, it would never actually finish calculating the current digit. So then pressing this button wouldn't stop the calculation. For an emergency stop like that, you can use this sub stop button. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. The uh, st sub stop button came off. Let me put push that back on. There we go. But anyway, this uh, this aborted the calculation prematurely. Uh, so if, if I actually enter zero and do a division, it's yeah going to keep calculating, but I can stop that prematurely in this way. There's one more button that I haven't shown you, which is this neg button. That allows you to manually change the direction in which the uh, counter is, is counting. So if I press the neg button, it changes this to counting subtractions. So an addition will now decrement the counter. Huh. Actually, seems it's only going to count subtractions and not count additions at all. So now I've shown you pretty much everything on the keyboard and that's how you use this facet so this was the Facet CA113. Thank you for watching.